Oh, Alright YouTube, I'm hungry and we're not cooking yet today. Today, I got myself a present in the mail. The present for Bertha, my BFG. And it's a smoke in it. A smoke in it. Good shout out to them. Um, Bella. Bella's. Cold smoke generator. Alright, so what does it come with? It comes with this tube. I've already opened it. I've already attached it. So this here is a sil heat resistant silicone tube. And then you got the unit itself. It comes with this little air pipe thing, right? This guy here um, is its, it's pump. It's air pump, right? And what I found really curious about this air pump, and I've already opened it, it doesn't really say it on the outside of the box. Right, but when I open this guy, and I look at the bottom of it, that says IPX4. So I'm gonna assume this is IPX4 rated, which is kind of cool. It also has a picture of a house with an arrow pointing in. So I think it's an indoor pump, but it's IPX4 rated. So I'm not necessarily gonna keep it inside. Um, and I don't think you have to, IPX4. Four. All right, so that's that. So it also comes with, and I kind of like this idea. They, they send it with these wood chips and these pellets, a good mixture. I don't plan on using it. What I find kind of kind of cool though, and this kind of kind of tells me this is almost a mom and pop shop, and it might be. Who knows? Is even the screws came in Ziploc bags, right? Kind of cool, right? This guy here, the Bella itself. It comes in a smaller box, which I just don't have out here right now. And everything's wrapped in, in plastic wrap or, or it's wrapped here in um, some kind of plastic, right? So we're going to get rid of this because that's not important to me right now. All right. It also comes with like this invoice. And this is kind of damn cool. At the bottom of it, well, it says my wife's name. It says thank you again. And somebody actually signed and wrote that in ink, right? And as we flip through these pages, right? Color instructions, really? Really? I don't know where this is made, but I've never gotten color instructions from China. All right, and as I flip through it, it looks pretty easy, you know? So it tells me I'm gonna need some kind of drill, right? So I have my drill, but it also says I'm gonna need some bits. So on Amazon, I went ahead and I bought me a three-fourths pole saw bit right for metal so i'm hoping this will be easier than a drill press because i'm going to put it into the side of the bfg i'm not going to get that on a drill press so i'm going to have to take my time and do it with that it also says down here that i'm going to need a 5 30 second drill bit and that's a little booger and, and i have that here all right so let's hope that will work and i'm thinking i'm going to have to make an indentation in the side so this is going to be my little tap so it doesn't, the drill bit doesn't go off to the side a whole lot. All right, let's see, what else does this thing say? It says a lot of stuff here, and everything's in color. What? Let's see what the next page is. All right, the next page here, insert the tube into the body. It's basically telling you how to put it together and how to start it. And uh, I might not be the smartest person, I'm definitely not the stupidest so one. What I wanna do is I'm gonna wanna install this me personally, um, I'm gonna install it underneath the heat deflector down there, right? So my hope is is that the smoke will hit the heat deflector and it'll kind of come out with the heat, right? Um, I've seen some people actually go through the double wall side on this side and install it higher at the grate level. I saw one guy, he tried to install it in the back. And when you install it in the back there, this thing is curved like an oil tank like the old oil tanks you see on the side of the house. And that means part of this is like hanging out. And I don't want that. So I'm gonna to try to install it underneath that heat deflector. What's really good about that heat deflector is it rests on the oil drip pan, because that's also the oil drip pan, the grease drip pan, right? So if we come over here to the side of this guy, we can see that the place where it sits has to be right around there somewhere. So I'm gonna drill my holes in right around here for the actual uh, 
pike that goes into the grill. And then hopefully, with a little bit of luck, I'll miss anything important up here. And I don't think there's anything important up there. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to get him into that drip pan because that looks like a piece of angle iron and that's not going to be easy to drill through. All right, so uh, that's what we're going to do. So I got my, my bucket here, my cup, full of pellets. We're gonna see how this thing works. All right. So there that is. I'm gonna throw the lid on it. I got my air pump here, right? And the air pump, uh, the instructions say to turn up on high. So clearly, that's not nearly as loud as the grill would be, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna light this. It just has one hole. All right. There's a hole on the other side, but I'm gonna light it from this hole. All right. The instructions say to clean it. There's a screw here and a screw on the other side, so I just move my grease bucket and I can get to the other side. I already have smoke coming out. Um, I'm gonna let that sit for a couple seconds. And then we'll be right back once it's actually burning up real good. a closer look. I've already lit it. This is how I installed it. Of course, I have my spacer in there coming around. I'm actually going to stick the air pump when I'm done down there on the bottom shelf. So there's my install. I've actually taken apart half of the grill. When I open it, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of smoke in there. All right. So right now, I have that air to that air pump all the way up all right the instructions say once it's lit good to turn it down to half all right so that's half we're gonna see if this smoke will clear up at all we're gonna go down there and we're gonna look at it i've had it on a fork now for maybe five minutes and it's just now starting to clear out of there the grill itself is not on all this smoke you're seeing is from that bella's cold smoke generator by smoking it all right so now that it's starting to clear out, let me show you if I can't get closer. But I want to show you it coming out of the actual tube itself. So I have it right underneath the drip tray. It's just kicking out smoke and it's filling this guy. If I were to shut this lid and come back, it would be full. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this grill up to temperature. So the grill itself is off right now, but I'm going to bring it up to 225. I'm going to put it back together bring it on up. Actually, I'm going to put it back together and then leave it off and we'll be right back. I want to show you what it looks like with it. With it. All right, YouTube. I put it back together. I waited about five minutes. All right. I turned this up. It's right underneath half um, to a fourth, but it's right underneath half, right? More towards a fourth. All right. This is with the grill off. And if you own a BFG, you know that it's not producing that much smoke, um, even if it's on, unless it's turning on. So it's doing its job. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the BFG. Now I have it set to extreme low, all right? Actually, I'm not gonna have it set to extreme low. I'm gonna turn it up to 225, because that's what you're gonna cook at, right? And right now the fans are on, and it's not throwing the smoke back and I'm not seeing it leave anything over here. So it looks like it's still doing its job. My positioning of the, the Bellas isn't that bad. Um, I'm not seeing any repercussions due to the fans, I guess, right? Um, my wife actually asked me, she said, what's your backup plan? This is a BFG, it's a rec tech. That means it's expensive. What's my backup plan? Well, you go to Lowe's and you get two washers, a bolt and a nut, and you plug that hole that you just made if it doesn't work. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. So that's my backup plan. It's cleared out the smoke. It's fine. I see a little bit coming out the top of the Bella, and I'm okay with that. Um, I kind of assumed with the door open it was going to clear it out. So let me close this door. We're going to let it get up the temperature. All right, guys. So 
I can see smoke coming out of this smokestack. And I can see smoke coming out of that chimney over there, smokestack. You call it what you want to call it, all right? There's definitely more coming out of the right-hand side than there is on the left-hand side. But, you know, the Bellas is installed over there, all right? I haven't opened up this guy yet. The uh, Rectech controller says it's at 225. It's at 225 for about five minutes. The uh, air pump is just about at half, all right? So here goes the first time I'm going to open it at half, all right? And that's a decent amount of smoke that covers the whole side. Definitely a little bit more on the other side. But I think I'm okay with that, you know, because I'm going to cook them with the door shut. All right, so it's going to encompass it. Again, if you own a BFG at 225, you've never seen that happen before. I'm definitely getting a lot more smoke out of here, right? If I look at the bottom of the door, you know, I'm, I'm getting smoke here. I definitely get smoke in the middle. And as I go over, I, I'm going to guess that the smoke in the middle is about the same as it is on the right hand side but i do get a little bit more for low out of the right hand side and the right hand side chimney is definitely kicking it out right and the grill is at 225 all right this guy over here is at a hundred percent it's pumped capacity right and here goes when we open i'm going to turn on the light maybe i already had the light on if it is it is but here goes with the light on i hope i turned it on and not off here we go that's a whole lot of smoke coming out there. As you can see, it kind of billows around in there. So even though the smoke is coming up mostly on that side, I still got a good flow over here. So I think I might do some more modifications So, All right, so what I'm thinking is maybe I call smoking it and see if they can give me four more inches on that tube that's on the end of that guy. And maybe they can put a cap, a threaded cap or something and drill some holes in it, kind of like it's a spray bar for a fish tank. Or maybe, just maybe, I buy another one and I put it over here on this side. So we're just gonna have to wait and see how that works. Uh, but right now, 100%, the door is wide open. Uh, smoker's dropping on temperature, but look at all that smoke coming out of there. And it's, it's everywhere, you know? Hopefully you can see it on the camera with that light on. All right, so I've let it sit for about 30 minutes. We're at 225. I haven't touched that guy over there. It's at uh, about halfway. And I mean, this is a rather long grill for a pellet grill. And what I've noticed, the smokestack is consistently producing smoke, right? I can see the smoke coming out of it. That one over there, it has a lot more smoke. So I went on the uh, Smoking It website and they have a longer tube. So uh, I ordered the longer tube. It's not that expensive. It's going to bring it out a little bit more. I actually spoke with a gentleman that works there. I think he owns the place, to be quite honest with you. And he said that I could call him and maybe get a custom tube if I wanted to come longer. I think what I might do is bring it out to the, the actual diffuser in the middle. But here goes this. All right, I haven't opened it yet. Uh, remember the racks where they sit. I don't really use the bottom rack. So any smoke at the bottom, I really don't care about. And uh, I'm going to open up my grill. We're gonna see what happens. All right. The smoke is going everywhere. Remember my racks, they're out here and here. And while there's more over there, there's definitely smoke over here. So I think we're good to go. I think this is the winner. I think that we're gonna do some adjustments. We're gonna bring it out some. Um, but all in all, this is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right.